This next gentleman comes from Italy, believe it or not. Please welcome Mr. Antonello Torino, everybody. Oh. Hello! <laughs> I'm, I'm Italian. Somebody is Italian? No. No, okay. this is Italian, my damn friends of mine, I know. So, uh, I apologize for my English, it's just, no, it's 15 days. I'm in New York City, uh, it's wonderful. I love New York City. I love the country uh, folk singer that you choose as a speaker in the subway station. Dun 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 dun, stand the floor, the closing doors. It's Elvis Presley. <laughs> He's not bad, he's alive and he's the speaker in the subway station. <laughs> so, I am uh, I'm Italian, so, um, um, because of, I, just, I just say that uh, all stereotypes, even if I'm bad dressed, if I walk in Italy dressed like this, I would be immediately arrested by Prada police, really. <laughs> because all each stereotypes about Italian are true. We are good cooks, good lover, good mafia gangster. So, <laughs> our perfect evening is like this. We invite a quick girl in our place at the dinner to make her eat our delicious food. Then we make hot sex with her in the bedroom. <laughs> then we ask her to take part in a robbery. <laughs> it's a problem because sometimes they don't want to, to have sex. For the robbery, no problem. Because in Italy, we say if you really love a woman, you steal a car with her, you know? <laughs> yeah, but um, we have a lot of crime problem. My father used to say, um, used to remind me not to take drugs from strangers because they could fool you by giving you candies. Uh, so they give you get candies. Okay, I, I, I meant, okay, it's so a but in, in London Olympics Games, let's control, it's true, if you don't believe me, Italy won gold medals only on judo, skit, carabine, handgun, because we practice on the streets, so we did not even know they were Olympic sports. So. <laughs> It's like saying, uh, from now onwards, uh, uh, re eating rice will be an Olympic sport. For sure Chinese people will be the best. It's <laughs> like this. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, <laughs> wow, okay. Work, work, work. No, okay, okay. I did like this. So, uh, um, uh, we did a lot of uh, gaff in Italy. You know gaff, uh, fuck, don't work, uh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. <laughs> uh, we did a lot of gaff. We, we say, you know, when, when you fuck up, you say something completely wrong. So please, the music. Uh, you will never understand why this dress, but don't, 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 don't worry. Uh, uh, pay attention. <laughs> no, the, the number three. Number three. <laughs> don't take the dress for this number. So. Uh, 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 so, uh, just to, to... I did not know you were pregnant. <laughs> you should uh, be at eight or uh, ninth month, so you look fine. Ah, uh, um, no. Sorry, sorry. What a beautiful mask you have! You look very funny, very funny. Where did you get this mask? Very funny. Ah, your face. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, fuck! You came up on me! Yeah, you with that fucking cane, with that flea dog, with those fucking sunglasses! Look when you walk! <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, you dwell beneath the bell tower, don't you? <laughs> Aren't you bothered by the bell? <laughs> Aren't you bothered by the bell? Aren't you bothered by the bell? Okay, sorry. sorry. Uh, my darling, you are uh, stressed with the unnecessary problem of size. And then, uh, you know, it counts only when in erection. So, uh, Ah, uh, already. In a, uh, okay, this is from. Okay, no worry. <laughs> um, uh, you, your grandpa is very, is very cool. Your grandpa, yeah, with his, his tattoo on his arm, it's very original. I never saw it with this uh, small number. I never. <laughs> 
sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> what a beautiful baby! Uh, what's your name? But you already dressed like an adult. I like your small jacket and your tie. <laughs> sorry, sir. World okay, in Italy works, don't worry. Okay. So, let's finish with our collection with the silliest jobs in the world. You know, the silliest jobs in the world. First silliest job is like this. The advertising rider with a few ideas. Do you have dandruff problems? Don't shake your head. <laughs> Megalomaniac tourist guide in Rome. Uh, that's the Colosseum, it was built by my dad. Uh, that's the Travis Fountains, one friend of mine lives in there. And that's St. Peter. Uh, yeah, I am Colo, I'm working. I will come over later when your speech of the windows is finished, okay? Okay, the Pope. Okay, well, okay, don't worry. Uh, the, the other, the other, ah, uh, uh, actresses, actress suffering from vertigo who plays Juliet. Romeo! <laughs> Romeo! <laughs> Why are you Romeo? <laughs> then, then, you understand now, don't worry. Tomorrow night you will understand all these jokes, don't worry. Uh, and uh, the, the uh, porno movie costume designer. Morning. Finish. Bye bye, bye bye. <laughs> and we finish, ah, the, no, the polite football player. <laughs> Oh sorry, I hit you. <laughs> oh sorry, I hit you. Sorry, sorry. And, and the stand up, the whole. And, and let's finish. I finished my time, yeah. Okay, and finish with the very Italian things. I don't know, I don't know if you understand. The Hamas Arab terrorist in Naples. Sorry, uh, has anybody seen the bus? <laughs> The 39, but uh, will it ever come? Because I set the timer, so I don't know. <laughs>